Hello, uh, my name is Parker Brown, and I'm here today to debate the red-footed cannibal fly, otherwise known as the Prometheus rufius. Um, Hi. And this is my debate partner. Hi, my name is Luke Howell, and my species is the Tenodera sinensis, more commonly known as the Chinese praying mantis. Today we will be debating which of the two is a better predator. So, the red-footed cannibal fly is found all over the United States, from Florida to New York. Uh, it is a large muscular robber fly. It hunts all kinds of prey, from butterflies to assassin bugs and even hummingbirds. The red-footed cannibal fly, scientifically known as Prometheus rupeus, can be characterized by its yardal abdomen with black dots, single set of brown tra transparent wings, yellow spiny legs with black sharp feet. Uh, the cannibal fly ranges in size between 28 to 35 millimeters long. It's about 1 to 1.3 inches, uh, but could possibly get as big as 50 millimeters, which is 2 inches. The cannibal fly usually begins its life cycle when female e lays eggs in a mass on plants in the soil or on damp, rocky crevices. These eggs normally hatch in the early spring and live as subterranean larvae, devouring beetle grubs so it can grow strong. As the cannibal fly grows, its thorax becomes enlarged, looking swollen, but in reality, the insect is hiding strong muscle wings that allow it to barrel into its prey like a cannonball. As the red-footed cannibal fly matures and begins to hunt larger prey, the fly begins to utilize its bite. While not fatal to humans, can cause a painful sting, similar to a bee sting, not as bad, but similar. The predator will sit on a perch and scan the sky around it. Once its prey has been chosen, the fly shoots towards its meal and snatches it out of the air, before biting it and injecting its neurotoxin and digestive enzymes to liquefy the inside of its prey and consume it. If that isn't scary enough, the red-footed cannibal fly preys on all kinds of insects, bees, wasps, grasshoppers, even other cannibal flies, as his name implies. The insect, since it is such an apex predator, is seen as a very beneficial addition to a garden because it kills most pests and has even earned itself the name the bee panther. The Chinese praying mantis is characterized by a brown and green coloring with green lateral stripes on the borders of each side of the front wing. While their eyes look black and low lighting, they're actually clear when exposed to light. A yellow spot between their front legs distinguishes them from other praying mantises. Chinese praying mantises have long, slender bodies that usually measure around 11 centimeters. Their triangle-shaped heads and two bulbous compound eyes, three simple eyes, and a pair of antenna make them easy to identify as well. They have two pointed forelegs that they use to hunt their prey and two sets of wings, one to protect the other set. However, only the males of the species can fly. The Chinese praying mantis is active during the warmer months, with a preferred temperature ranging from 20 to 38 degrees Celsius. Females lay eggs into vegetation, such as shrubbery and trees, which hatch into nymphs, which go through six to nine instars, or stages, before they reach full maturity. They are native to China, Japan, Korea, Micronesia, and Thailand, also parts of North America, and usually live six to eight months. Their diet consists of cockroaches, moths, butterflies, grasshoppers, and crickets. In order to catch their prey, they rely on a combination of eyesight and patient hunting, eventually pouncing on and tackling their prey once it comes about, using their folded arms to grab their prey. Their pointed forelegs are a huge advantage when it comes to catching prey. What is scary about this insect is that it doesn't need anything fancy to be a successful predator, just as brute strength and sharp pointed legs. The Chinese praying mantis is generally considered beneficial to humans, often being kept as pets, as well as hunting some insects that humans might not like, and are not known to be harmful or aggressive toward humans. Finally, some fun facts. The female will often eat the male after mating if food is scarce, establishing them as true cannibals. They are highly aggressive, oftentimes hunting other insects that are the same size and are very territorial and will establish a territory of around four square kilometers. It's actually such a big area. <laughs> so when looking at these two ma massively efficient predators, we have to consider all factors. Since both insects command a vast amount of respect when pertaining to predation tactics, but with this said, there are a few factors that I believe make the red-footed cannibal fly the better predator of the two. For starters, the speed of the cannibal fly. When addressing long distance movement, far supersedes that of the praying mantis, allowing the fly to pursue its prey under the extremely unlikely event that it is able to escape the cannibal fly's grasp. The cannibal fly also has biochemical weapons in its arsenal, a saliva that doubles as a neurotoxin and a digestive enzyme. It tur this turns the inside of the prey into liquid. Unlike the mantis who only uses, while impressive, brute speed and brute strength, and it's not to say the cannibal fly doesn't have its own brute strength of its own. 
Witnesses to brutal cannibal fly assassinations have said the fly hits its victim so fast, so, so hard that an audible snap can be heard from several meters away. The fly would have no problem flying around and pursuing its prey, killing insect after insect, heavily outperforming the mantis, who is just praying for some food to get close enough. It's no secret that both insects in the Sibet are powerful predators, but there are several reasons why the Chinese praying mantis is the stronger of the two. The mantis's camouflage helps it stay hidden when perched upon the tall grass, and by the time it uses its quick speed and impressive strength to pounce upon its prey, there's nothing else the poor insect can do. It doesn't need anything other than its strength and quickness, while the red-footed cannibal fly needs its venom to be a successful hunter. Also, the ability to take down insects the same size as it with just its weight and pointed forelegs puts it over the top. The praying mantis will establish a territory around itself, begging any insect stupid enough to venture near to come close so it can pounce quickly before the insect even knew what hit it. The speed, strength, and camouflage of the Chinese praying mantis are truly traits to be marveled at, although it's not enough to be the most efficient apex predator. The cannibal flies preference on wooded areas and its ability to pursue its meals over distance puts it in first place. The fly actively hunts its victims with highly advanced eyes that can pick out individual insects inside of swarms, camouflaged or not. Once its prey is locked on and picked out, the fly swoops in, T-bones the hapless bug, and locks into an Iron Maiden death grip. As if the impact from the body wasn't enough to kill its prey, then the administration of the cannibal flies saliva will. This, these form a combination of predation techniques has allowed the cannibal fly to take down hummingbirds, a feat that praying mantises have also been observed to achieve, but has to be nearly five times the size of the fly to do it, and must wait for its prey where the cannibal fly hunts it down. Where the praying mantis must wait for its food, the cannibal fly seeks it out and finds it. The cannibal fly's stealth and endurance is surely admirable and hard to counter. However, there is no need for strong endurance when you are a patient hunter like the Chinese praying mantis. While the cannibal fly must chase after its prey, the mantis must only wait for its prey to come to it. While the mantis remains unseen from unsuspecting prey wandering too close to the Chinese praying mantis' territory, the soon-to-be-dead insects simply wander right up to its killer. Once the prey is in range, there is nothing that can be done to save itself, as the praying mantis' strength will undoubtedly outmatch its, own, its opponents. The eyesight of the Chinese praying mantis heightens its predatory abilities as it is able to spy any approaching prey that is soon to become its next meal. In a target-rich environment, the praying mantis will have nothing to worry about when it comes to food. Luke's made some great points, and with both predators, the Chinese praying mantis and the red-footed cannibal fly having their own merit and their own predation and hunting tactics, I believe that the overwhelming strength, speed, ferocity, and efficiency of the red-footed cannibal fly is the reason it is the apex predator in this matchup. Being able to pursue and hunt down its prey makes it a more effective and overall a better predator. As stated in King Kaufman's Field Guide to Insects North America, cannibal flies are to other insects what falcons are to other birds. Currently, cannibal flies are being studied more and more as they fly are a fly species that we actually don't have a lot of information on. For instance, I had actually struggled with finding a whole lot of websites with um, information and their weight listed. But now the species and other robber flies are getting more attention as their flight tactics and patterns are being researched and applied to drone technology. While both, insects <laughs> while both insects are presented today are undoubtedly successful and intimidating predators, it is clear that the Chinese praying mantis is in a league of its own. Its need for only its strength and speed presents it as a more lethal, lethal and powerful predator. Its prey doesn't even stand a chance. Its patience and mastery for killing its prey shows that the red-footed cannibal fly, while impressive, does not match up with the Chinese praying mantis. Mantises, like the Chinese praying mantis, are known to feed on pests, which makes them very beneficial to farmers. Much is known about the Chinese praying mantis and its family, so not much research is currently needed. However, a recent study showed that praying mantids, the family of the Chinese praying mantis, is able to see in 3D. This has allowed scientists to study how the praying mantis sees the world, which can be applied to how it functions as a predator. Thank you for coming to our debate. Woohoo!